Well, hello everybody and welcome to yet another Sunday morning show. Now, I know what you're thinking, Dan, where the bloody hell have you been? Well, I've taken some time out. And the reason I took some time out is I had a lot of things going on personal life, a lot of things going on with regards to the channel. We'll get into what I've been kind of up to in the last sort of couple of months really. I've been out, out of action for a couple of months when it comes to the Sunday morning show and I know a lot of you have missed it and I apologise but sometimes you just got to get some stuff done. We've come here to France, myself and Lester. We're filming here today at Dinard. As you can see it's just started raining so let's get out onto the golf course and let's share with you what's been going on. So where have I been? Well, I've been um, doing a lot of thinking with regards to the channel. Um, decided that I wanted to take a bit of a break because the views of the channel were not getting, weren't great. And also the ad revenue at the time was, was pretty poor and it just, the more and more pressure I was putting myself under to try and create more videos and um, not getting the views, it can be hard, it can be really hard. And I can't for the life of me still work out why or how potentially like 10,000 people have disappeared away from the uh, from the channel and not watching what we're doing. I still feel like the content that we've been putting out has been really good. However, I've had time to just go through it and see what um, see what worked well, what didn't work well, what got me more subscribers to the channel. Um, because ultimately, yes, I am under pressure to a point to get subscribers for the channel. Um, there are certain things that I have to almost like tick boxes for, for um, sponsorship deals and things like that to keep the channel moving in the right direction. So when it does stall a little bit, you need to take time away from the business to then go and have a look in it to see what's kind of worked and not worked. Just right. testing this, Bernie. Test, 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 testing, test. Testing, one, two, three, three testing. Test, test. For some of you that don't know, Bernie and I have started up a new podcast video, basically, but it's a podcast, ideally. That's what it kind of started as, didn't it? Yeah. Well, Bernie, welcome to another Tubal Golf Show. They said it wouldn't last, Dan. So it's kind of like... It's an extension of the original Sunday show, isn't it's it? It's exactly but, what it is, but, but we wanted to create it as a podcast. Rather than talking more about what we were getting up to, we sort of picking golf topics and discussing them, weren't we? Yeah, so obviously Ryder Cup being a big, big discussion in the last sort of few weeks. We've yeah. obviously done a couple of podcasts that have, um, that have been featured about the Ryder Cup and our kind of thoughts and... Um, so if you're not checking that out, it's basically the old DHC Plus channel. So go and check that one out. Um, see if uh, see if it's something that you are interested in. If there's anything that you want to see on there from a content point of view, let us know down there as well. <laughs> what are you laughing at? What are you what laughing did you see at? Your yeah. <laughs> oh, it's such a shame. Look at that bloody bush there. Oh, well, it's just started to get pretty fresh out here. Temperatures dropped by about six degrees from yesterday to today. Like I said, we're at Dinard Golf Club today, which is actually one of my favourites. This is um, absolutely stunning. Not too far away from St. Marlowe, so you can actually catch a ferry out of Portsmouth into St. Marlow, but this place is breathtaking. I always said to Bernie, if I ever go missing and you can't find me for a few days, just probably come over here and this is probably where I'll be playing my golf because this place is just, well, absolutely breathtaking. It's kind of like a, a cliff top, linksy style golf course out here on the north coast of France but everywhere you look is certainly when you get into the sort of back nine holes everywhere you look is just breathtaking views and it's just absolutely stunning the property around this area of Dinard is, is relatively expensive and it's you know huge properties but it is one of my favorites now the reason we're over here is because we're doing a bit of a recce for some of you that know this particular show used to be sponsored by Golfing Days. Well, Golfing Days have decided to call it a day with regards to the Sunday morning show, which is a shame, but I wish them all the best with what they're doing. I'm going on their Pro-Am 
in November to uh, Villamora, which will be fun, so it'd be great to catch up with them. But it's kind of sparked my brain a little bit, this whole travel side of things. Now, one of my really good friends is Graham Ruth. Now, Graham Ruth is father to James Ruth, who you will have seen on the channel. Well, Graham, for the last 25, 30 years, has run the Brittany Ferries golf desk, uh, bringing people backwards and forwards to France, to northern Spain. And when it comes to travel, he knows everything there is to know about this travel world of golf, especially. Well, we've teamed up and this is something that I'm quite passionate about because I used to work for Graham in the travel uh, industry when I first left university. So Graham and I have teamed up to create DH Golf Travel. Now this is kind of like a travel club. So Graham will be the engine behind of what's going on. So all the bookings that people do will go through Graham. But I just thought that with the amount of places that I go to visit, you know, why don't we try and create a, a club of bespoke trips where when I come and visit these places, I can try and give you, through Graham, the best possible deals that we can get from the clubs that we visit. And I've got to say, the first two places that we've ticked off of Golf Barriere, Deauville, and now Dinard, absolutely superb. A kind of an untapped market, I think, for golf travel, certainly down here in France. And on that note, I did flick up the drone a little bit earlier, so enjoy the views. Is. Because you've been nice to me recently, I've just re-followed your channel. I've resubscribed. <laughs> Bernie, how is it going? Good. How has your trip been? It's been brilliant. Yeah, ah, oh, superb. I, the more I come to France, the more I want to come back. And it's just there's some great golf courses, some hidden gems. Played two outstandingly awesome golf courses, which have been very lucky. Unfortunately, the weather's not been that kind, but it hasn't hasn't dampened the trip. You like that? Little oh, I love of, that. Yeah, I love use that. Of the rain. It's been raining quite a bit, isn't it? So, yeah. But no, brilliant. This is um, Dinard superb. And, um, Can you kind of see why I've always chirped on about Dinard? Yeah. How good it is. Yeah. A little hidden gem, I'd say. Oh, I, don't, I, I don't know how, like... How wouldn't people come over and play it more? Well, so, no, they should, but I, I don't know how hidden it is. Yeah. Because I think for the French, I think That's it's well actually known. really well known. And, yeah. and obviously it's an 18... An 1887 golf club, so it's yeah, relatively it's got, got, history, got a great amount of history. It, but yeah. The clubhouse itself, as well, the um, the Art Deco clubhouse yeah. is to me just it's got atmosphere to it. Oh, we, we, we went in for lunch, didn't we? Yeah. And yeah. it was just it was full of yeah. people, absolutely full buzzing. for lunch, buzzing, absolutely right, buzzing. But yeah, this is this is my spot. Yeah, it's lovely. This is where you will I find. I can me. see you uh, getting a little little apartment over here. Little jeet. <laughs> A little tent. A little sheet. <laughs> a little <ball. laughs> you can see me parking the van up here and <laughs> camping sleeping. out the back. Little camper van. How nice. <laughs> I love you coming. I have a bomb up here. Well, as soon as the camera's turned off, I have to turn into a player, don't You're I? You're a nervous camera player, What's going aren't you? On? Hey, just well, give you a well, buggy look and a golf course and look, look at him. The par around here. Golf's easy. So where have I been and what have I been doing? Well, I've actually set up a couple of different podcasts. The one with Bernie that we talked about a moment ago. I've also set up another podcast, which is called Behind Golf with me. And this is um, a podcast that I've set up that will be video for the members of the channel. Um, but ultimately it goes on to every podcast platform that Jordan kind of puts it on. So all your Spotify, um, all your Apple ones and a few others that, that I know Jordan sort of gets a bit excited about. But the idea of that podcast is to um, catch up with pros, people that work within the game of golf. They're not all pros, but people that work within the game of golf. Get an insight into their story. How did they get into golf? All these little things. I've uh, I've caught up with Alex Etches, which has been a great one. I've caught up with my brother, Paul. I've caught up with uh, Richard Hemmings, who runs um, 
sub 70 Europe and 11. And I've also just caught up with Chris Gill and those are now available in the uh, podcast area. But also, if you do wanna become a member of the channel, it's not particularly expensive, but it's just a bit of extra content there for you to have a little look at as well. So lots of things going on in the background. I was having a, trying to see which one would pick up the GPS first. However, they were both the same. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, any of Dan's waffle will be cut out of this video quite promptly. Welcome to my favorite hole on the golf course. This is the 17th here at Dinard. It's a 91 meter, so 100 yard kind of drop hole surrounded by bunkers. And I promise you, when the wind is up like it is today, it's not an easy, easy shot. I've had uh, seven, eight irons, six irons into this because it's so windy into it. The prevailing is kind of this way normally. So I figured that today, me and Bernie should have a little nearest the pin on the drop hole. Our new friend. Yes. Matthew. Hey. Welcome to the Sunday morning show. <laughs> you have endured 16 holes with us. <laughs> Your English is amazing. Our French is, is coming along. <laughs> Would you like to join us in the nearest the pin? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's All go. Right. Oh, lovely strike. Get up there then. Go on. Go, 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 go. Mm, could be bunker bound that one, but I like that release though. That was better, wasn't it? Yeah. Felt better. I uh, feel less power, but less power. But you got to let it go. So you have to release. Let it go. That's it. Release it through. Release. Cool. He's had a round of golf with us, and now free golf lessons. I know. What a day, though. <laughs> it's, it's like Christmas. He's he's playing all his golf at the moment, Bernie. Have you got the minerals? Wow, wow, wow. Tell you what, I'll tell you what. Spin. Oh, 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 big, oh. big. Over the hedge. <laughs> Not only have you lost the, the game, but you've also lost, lost the ball. The ball. <laughs> Not a good day. Well, I better film you getting the two, I suppose. Roll it in. Another magical moment for today for you. Day. What a day you've had. Oh, mate, under. I've got to get it over the hedge and under the tree. No. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs>